Well, let's move now on to the drastic measures Italy is taking to restrict the movement of some 16 million people in its northern region in a bid to curb the spread of COVID-19. And it comes amid a sharp increase in the number of confirmed cases and deaths in the country. Well, deaths from the virus jumped by more than 50% on Sunday to 366, while infections shot up by 25% to more than 7,300. Italy has now overtaken South Korea with the largest COVID-19 outbreak outside of China. Well, officials have ordered a lockdown across vast parts of the north that are home to a quarter of the Italian population and serve as the country's economic growth engine. They include the entire Lombardy region, including its financial capital Milan, as well as 14 other provinces such as Venice, Modena and Parma. Well, the measures that will stay in place until April the 3rd. We want to guarantee the health of the citizens. We take care of that all these measures will create a disaster. We take care of that these measures will impose sacrifices, sometimes small, sometimes very great. But this is the moment of self-responsibility. We have to understand that we all have to adhere. We don't have to contrast these measures. Well, the announcement triggered an exodus of thousands as they rushed to flee the quarantine zones. Throughout Italy, venues such as cinemas, museums, pubs and gyms will be closed, while bars and restaurants must observe a one-metre distance between patrons. Well, thousands of travellers have postponed or cancelled trips to the popular European destination amid the unprecedented restrictions. Quello che sta succedendo nella mia città eh, mi preoccupa e mi rattrista molto perché Milano è una città vitale e vedere questo oggi è veramente quasi una sconfitta per me perché io non so come dire, pensavo che questo non accadesse mai. Well, our correspondent Seema Gupta was, has more on, of course, the four-week shutdown in Italy's industrial heartland and uh, how it will impact the country's vast economy. Now, this is Italy's largest region. It's economically one of the most productive. It's set to count for some f a fifth of the country's GDP. And Milan, where Lombardy is located, um, Milan is in there. It's the country's financial capital. It's where the stock exchange is. So clearly, this is going to have an impact on exports for the country. And all eyes will be on the markets later on Monday to see how it performs, obviously. And there's concern with all of this negative impact on the economy that Italy is going to go back into recession. Now, Italians as a whole are concerned about the impact that this is going to have on the economy, but obviously also concerned about their own personal health and the state of the health system as a whole. Because, of course, if the spread is not contained enough, it could overwhelm the health system altogether. In Lombardy alone, they already uh, have plans in place to move those intensive care cases that have nothing to do with coronavirus out of the region in order that those patients can get the care they need. Uh, very important measures put in place. I thought, uh, people here concerned about their health, concerned about the health of their loved ones, and in particular, the, the health of their loved ones who are elderly. As we know, uh, this COVID-19 virus does impact the elderly in particular, and Italy has one of the world's oldest populations.